Um, hi, and welcome to my video on my new Anki add-on uh, called Better Clothes. So hopefully you already know what a clothes card is in Anki. Um, so it's made for slash designed for making gap fill type cards, which is really useful for turning a body of text into multiple flashcards without necessarily coming up with a question to quiz yourself on each item of information specifically. Um, so this card type is great for memorizing paragraphs, but it, especially in STEM subjects, um, you find yourself having to use it in scenarios where it's not a paragraph. Say you want to remember a list of items related to some concept, you might do a close card and then each like bullet point you close. Um, and this is one of the areas that I'm trying to address. So Better Close introduces two new card types called Process and Properties. Um, and the Process card type is best suited for information where there is a natural ordering to the items of information. Um, for example, if you were trying to memorize a recipe, process in the body, or mathematical proof, uh, this type of card's great. And it improves upon the closed card type by not showing you future steps when you're reviewing um, a given card. So if you've got a mathematical proof and you're trying to remember the third step, it will not show you the fourth, fifth, sixth step. Um, and this prevents you from cheating during the review stage and deriving the current stage by looking ahead at the later stages. Um, as it's easy, it's often easier, especially in proofs, etc., um, to remember a stage in a process um, by looking at what's just before it and what's just after it. But in the real world, you can't look at what's just after it. So the process card stops you from looking into the future. Um, and this means that your cards are more similar to what you are having to do in an exam. And hopefully, um, the theory is that this should lead to better uh, performance uh, in exams or other real-world scenarios where you're having to recall this information. Um, so that's great when there's a natural ordering. But the second type of card is called properties. Um, and this is the complete opposite. So this is designed for memorizing multiple items of information where there is no ordering uh, between your items of information. Um, so, as the name suggests, uh, this card type is great for memorizing properties about something. So, this can be useful for memorizing properties of a mathematical operation um, or the pros and cons of a concept. Um, so, properties improves upon the close note type in default Enki um, by allowing you to, um, by randomizing the ordering in which your close tags appear. So this prevents a common strategy when learning Anki cards of going, oh yeah, it, it's, the, it's the advantage um, of this idea that's at the bottom of my Anki card. Um, but obviously when you're in an exam, you're not doing your Anki card. So knowing it's at the bottom of your Anki card isn't very useful. So by randomizing the order of your close tags, um, it means you can no, can no longer memorize or rely on the location of um, of this information on your Anki card, which should hopefully mean you uh, create better memories. Um, and hopefully uh, this will generalize better to an exam, so you're more likely to remember the piece of information in the, you know, in the setting where it matters. Um, so yeah, there'll be, I'll link to the Anki web page in the description. Uh, you just install it like any other add-on. And once you have installed it, you should be able to change your card type in the bottom left of the, um, of the add card screen. You should be able to go click where you'd say basic or close normally, click there. And then it should say process and properties and choose your process uh, card type when you're trying to remember a series of things and choose your properties card type when you're trying to remember some things with no clear ordering. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you in your studies. Bye!